Hi, everyone, and welcome back to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts, where we're coming to you today live from the floor of ITW 2024, talking to great leaders across our industry, such as our current guest, Michael Glenn from Console Connect and Mike Mills from Gamma. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me, well, me back and for the first time. Yeah, no, thank you. It's great to be here. Yeah. Uh, it's been a busy week. I know we were just chatting a yeah. little bit. Uh, it's a marathon, right? How's it been for you? Uh, yeah, great. I, I think, you know, we flew over uh, Saturday and it's just been manic, but it's been really good. We've had some great yeah. conversations with customers and, yeah, it's just a great point to connect with with people and colleagues and friends and and everybody in the industry in, in one condensed area. So, yeah, yeah, exhausting, but but really, really good. Yeah. Yeah, I find it's, it's such an interesting, it's almost a midpoint of the year, yeah. right, where you can sort of look at, hey, what have we accomplished so far and what are we going to do next yeah. for the remainder of the year? You two have something, I think, exciting to share. There's a new partnership to talk about between Console Connect and Gamma. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, sure. So, I mean, there's an interesting story about Console Connect. So in, the, in London, yeah. we're in the same building and didn't really know it. So oh, there's really? literally three floors oh, between, we're, between the organization. We're upstairs. Yeah, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, and and uh, we, we, look, we've known of the, of the businesses for a long time and... Um, We've got, as we were evolving our business, we made some international acquisitions and, and we're looking to um, just just transition some of our capabilities as more people move to public cloud. We wanted a partnership with these guys to, to really glue all that together and, and give us a Swiss army knife of things that it can do that that help us solve some problems from our, for our customers as they continue to move. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. From let's talk about from the perspective of Console Connect. Yeah. So, what what are the advantages of, of this partnership? Well, you know, over the last four years, we've interconnected uh, pretty much most of the cloud in most regions, and then you know you, you got your top high, hyperscalers to your tier two cloud for Volta and all of those sort of things. Yeah. But there are companies like UKS companies and their platforms now need to access those clouds. So as we go into our our, our, our next step. It's great that we're partnering with these sort of companies that use what we've built to enable their platform and their network, but also their customers to be able to bring in that platform and to move multi -cloud or cloud to cloud, either to AWS or Google Cloud and the Gamma platform. Yeah, I would imagine this is meaningful for your customer base. Yeah. So tell, tell us about that. From yeah, so, so we've got like three or four really interesting use cases for, for this um, relationship. Um, that the first one that I think is particularly helpful is, is we bought a global um, voice numbering business in February and this allows us to land and expand globally really quickly, really efficiently, drop network nodes in and do that in a hyper-efficient way, which is great as, because we've got some really ambitious growth plans around number reach. Yeah. Um, secondly, we've got a bunch of very large customers that are moving traditional hardware into public clouds who want to remain connected to our network, so we're facilitating that as a really simple straightforward, flexible way to do that. And then lastly, where we're, we've got some software applications that, that are, is our own proprietary software. And we're using these guys to allow us to, to connect it in from AWS, for example, into our own network. So again, we can do that really efficiently, really yeah. quickly. So it, as I said at the start, it, for us, it's a Swiss army knife of problems it solves that, that we could do ourselves, but there's no point. These guys are just so well connected. Yeah. yeah. I've been hearing that all week, you know, just, yeah. and, and we continue to, right? Just. People can't do all that needs to be done yeah. alone. Yeah. Partnerships yeah. are so key. Yeah. Um, and talk about from the perspective of Console Connect and yeah. ac accessing your your network and having yeah. this this um, a, a relationship here. And what does yeah. that mean in terms of specifically cost yeah. and performance? Yeah, I mean the Console Connect platform or our automation platform that sits on top of our PCW Global Network. It allows our customers to instant provision services between cloud or between platforms on our cloud router without having any other presence. You may not have presence in an enterprise building or in a data center. It's just moving traffic between two platforms. And you can turn that on in three minutes and you can have it for as little as an hour. And everything is fully automated. Yeah. But the, the beauty also is how we've built the platform uh, and our core network that you can enable different quality services or class of service. So you can prioritize your voice and whatever packets you need to go through first um, or through the stack, you can do that all on the fly and mm. it just happens in real time. I think just to add to that, and I'm thinking of a sort of very particular problem we solved with, with the technology. We had a customer was really conscious about security of voice and, and they're moving to public cloud and this has allowed us to not have to do some product development. Uh, and we can provide secure access from our network to theirs 
yeah. solving a problem in a different way using much more modern technology. Yeah, yeah. amazing. Because it's it's all off the public internet, right? It's a secure private network, and yeah. it's just not in Europe. I mean, we're we're we're, we're in sixty countries. Is one platform off the public internet, so you can run services between one cloud in Johannesburg and another cloud in London or Chicago or Sydney or whatever, and it just everything's fully automated. So uh, it's it's pretty cool on, on yeah. how things have done. Yeah. And I said before, you know, it feels like we're sort of at this midway point and now it's exciting to talk about this partnership. Yeah. Can you give us, you know, sort of a, a view to the future of, of you know, what's going to come next or, or what you think this may enable uh, in the future forward view? Yeah. And look, certainly for us, we, we are um, really focused on, on building out our global footprint and you know, in order to do that, we're going to need points of presence and quick access points of presence all around the world. And we see this partnership as a really good way to do that really quickly uh, and then connect with a local operator and bring the traffic back at really low latency levels, really flexibly. Um, and, you know, between now and I think the end of 2025, you want to be in 50 countries. So, you know, I think this allows us to do that really concisely and quickly and easily. Amazing. Yeah. We Final probably word. need to grow a lot faster. So, then, you know, <laughs> yeah. our platform is growing. We're 65 countries. Data centers, we're seeing just under 1,000 data centers in 65 countries. Um, we enable more features. We've, we've enabled IoT SIM cards. You can go from edge device or a device, an IoT SIM device, straight through to cloud or straight through to platforms uh, like Gamma without touching the public internet across 150 countries. Yeah. We're now enabled 12 markets in every enterprise building in North America, uh, uh, Mexico, right through Europe, Japan, Singapore, Hong Kong. Um, our next, we, we're, we're focused on play, uh, places like Tan right now to expand more in that area. Um, and then I think to finish it off, I've sort of done the round of the world, is we'll probably be a uh, place like New Zealand, I reckon, could just be my last uh, yeah. little cherry on the top. That means I've done the whole, finish, the whole app. The, the team globe. have been yeah. fantastic. Yeah. So, uh, and enabling so much on our network so quickly over the last, you know, four to five years. Yeah. So. Fantastic. It's, yeah. Any final words for, as we, I mean, it's the final day here of ITW. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. been a big event. It is a big yeah. event. Yeah. Yeah. I think we've probably had the best conversations we've ever had at this event. Yeah. Um, just yeah, just with all the global peace and, and meeting yeah. customers and suppliers. And yeah. Um, yeah, looking yeah. forward to, to next year, I think, now. That's right. Uh, they're yeah. very kindly well, Same put... place, same time. We'll, uh, yeah. we'll see, we'll see what's, what's evolved. But, Sounds uh, good. Thank you both so okay. much, thank um, thanks Michael for and Mike, for, for joining us. Uh, and thank you to our viewers for tuning in again to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts. Happy networking. <laughs>